Okay, so we're doing a little video, a little different this time, because this time I'm going to talk a little bit about photography and some of my other hobbies. If you have followed me for at least a couple weeks, you know I work at Flux Defense, so I so I make Flux videos. Uh, in the past, I've played a lot of video games. I, I liked to make videos on video games, but I don't play games as often anymore as I want to, because I've just been so busy. And I've had other hobbies come and take chunks out of my time that I would have put towards video games and it's taken me into different directions. Now I still play games, but I do love the other hobbies that I have. And so mainly this video is about my love for photography recently. And I didn't have a camera before last year. Last year I went out and bought my first camera and it was a used camera off of Facebook Marketplace. No, it was, it was off of uh, our local classifieds here in Utah, and I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, I just knew that I wanted to try out photography, so what I did was I got a cheap camera, which I was thinking it was cheap, but I did some research, I wanted to full frame, now whether that matters, the more I know now about photography, I don't think it would have mattered as much if I had a full frame camera back when I got my first camera. But here I will show you was the first camera that I bought um, to start out. And if you know anything, I know you can't really see it well, but it's a Canon 5D Mark II. So this camera is like 10, 12 years old or something like that. And the way I had heard it explained to me over YouTube is that it doesn't really matter as much um, within the past like 10, 15 years. If you're getting the top of the line camera of 10 years ago, then you're going to get a really good camera that still can perform well. It's just not what professionals are using today. And considering that this was a new hobby of mine, I was not really considering doing any professional work. So I started with the Canon 5D Mark II and I had a buddy lend me two lenses that he had some old EF Canon lenses which are up here on the shelf and I'll show you what two lenses I started out with alright so this is the first one this is a Zeiss 85 millimeter 1.4 um, lens and this is was what my workhorse for the longest time I'll show you kind of how it looks on the inside because this is all manual and I really only learned to shoot all manual but oh my goodness do you see that <laughs> so this thing is wide open and it, it lets ton of light into the sensor and because of that I have been able to pull off some amazing shots with this thing with a lot of background separation so like right now I'm in focus and the background is blurry this thing does that at a super awesome level and same with a lot of lenses that are um, at a, with a lower f-stop so 1.4 lenses are amazing and so that's what I kinda got used to from the beginning see right now I'm on a 24 millimeter 1.4 Sony lens and it offers that same quality that I'm used to and I like it so this was the first lens I used on the Canon camera. I'll show you what it looks like on there. Yeah, so here it is on the Canon 5D Mark II. It's a really cool lens. I really, I really dig it, but I don't use it really anymore. And we'll talk about that here in a second once we get further into the video about my new camera setup. But I want to show you the pictures that I've taken with this lens, with this camera. I'll put that in right here. Okay, so that's just a snapshot of the, the pictures I've taken with that lens and camera setup. 
I'm going to show you the other lens that my buddy let me borrow, and that is a Rokinon. Um, it's a 35 millimeter. 1.5 I believe which is kind of funny because I was thinking 1.4 this one's a 1.5 still lets a lot of light in and so I will show you um, some of the images that I got out of this because this is actually the lens that I started my higher quality videos on YouTube with so really not long ago about a year ago last summer I filmed a lot of videos and this was the lens on this camera so I will insert that in right here welcome to the channel today back in early 2018 I was in need of a concealed carry pistol so now that you've seen the quality of those ones and and honestly the amount of the quality of the video that I got out of the Canon 5D Mark II with that lens compared to what I was doing before is insane I will roll a little bit of a little bit of footage in here to show you the difference hey guys if you follow or if you are subscribed you'll know by now that I like playing video games I started playing these five games last week and I want to let you know which ones bored me to death and which ones I'm excited to keep on playing now did you see how bad that footage was before and it bad good it doesn't matter I'm happy I made those videos because I didn't have anything of better quality um, at the time and so at back then I was using this Logitech Brio because it said it had 4k it could do 4k and I had a, a laptop back at that that time and the more I learned about cameras the more I just couldn't I couldn't go with this webcam uh, there was so much noise in low light and the only times I could film <laughs> so the only times I could film was when I got home after work and it was always in low light and so this thing you could tell from the video it wasn't the greatest so when I switched the Canon 5D Mark II everything changed okay so now that I've got that out of the way I will get to the next thing whereas I started to get into a little bit more long range photography I wasn't quite into like birds and like animals at that point only recently have I dipped my toe into that and I'll talk about it but um, I wanted to get into something a little bit longer range and so I picked up a super cheap it was like for $75 75 to 300 Canon it was like F stop 4 to 5.6 and I got that right here I picked this bad boy up and after several times using it 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 was really good at closer ranges I could use it if it was super well lit and if things were it may basically midday it would be fine the problem is the chromatic aberration I got out of this thing was not good and I quickly came to realize that the more expensive the glass the better image I'm gonna get and so this this led me down a different path and it led me to the system that I'm currently on right now now we're gonna tell if you can t see the difference um, switching from this camera my current camera to the old camera okay so you can't lie this looks good now but the only problem is am I in focus my focus is telling me That I'm in the most focus about this range it could be lying but herein lies the problem I have to use this external microphone that's going into my computer it's not the greatest um, it's harder to set up the other one's just so nice so I'm gonna show you my Sony a7 III and be, to be able to show it to you in focus I literally have to put it at the same depth from the camera as I am so this is how I typically film. I typically film, this thing is on the tripod, it's got the microphone on it, it's it's in a cage, and this is the 24mm, and by the way, we're filming on the 35mm mm Rokinon at, I think about F2, 
Um, okay, so let me show you this lens that I have because I upgraded. I got this second hand off of Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what it looks like set up on the Sony a7 III. Okay, so I'll punch in a little bit so you can see. But this is a big setup, but for what I have done with it so far, I'm super pumped on it. Especially because I can carry it around pretty easy with the new backpack clip I got from Peak Designs. Um, I don't carry it like this in the, the cage. I don't have the microphone on top. If I haven't already, I'm going to roll in some pictures that I got with this exact setup with the Sony a7 III with the, the Canon lens. This is using a Sigma MC11 adapter. It's an adapter from E-mount to, well, it's opposite. It's an adapter from EF Canon lens mount to EF Sony mount. Now, I had to do that because I don't have any native Sony lenses other than the 24 millimeter G Master and so this is something like a Frankenstein setup but it works out just fine then I'll switch back over to the to the Sony a7 III as the main camera because this I can't do this anymore I can't not be able to focus look at this it the fact that it doesn't have autofocus it just kills me all right we're back on the new camera because I got so sick and tired of setting my focal distance and not being able to zoom in, show things in focus. If I moved a little bit like this, I'd be out of focus. If I moved a little bit closer, I'd be out of focus. And this system, this does it. This does it for me. Very happy with this setup. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, cool. I will see you guys in the next one.